Today you will learn how to draw a bird, a dolphin, and a horse. Before we draw, let's learn how to sketch using simple lines and shapes. Our first line is a guideline that shows the position of bird's body. So if this is our canvas, this is how we'll draw our guideline. Now let's break down the body into simple shapes. The head looks like a circle. The body looks like an oval. The tail can be sketched as a triangle with an elongated oval at the end. And our legs can be sketched as simple lines. The beak is a triangle and the eye looks like a circle. It's important to start from this step looking only on simple shapes and proportions. This method helps us position the bird in the right spot on our canvas, draw the body proportionally, as well as easily adjust our drawing as we didn't get into any details. So this is how our drawing should look at first. Think about it as a rough skeleton. Let's try this on a paper using pencil. Draw the diagonal guideline first. Then we sketch the position and shape of bird's head. Then we draw the body of the bird, and it's roughly two times bigger than the head. Keep that in mind when you get to this step. Then we draw the tail, making sure that all shapes are positioned on our guideline. Then we identify the place where the wing will be. We add beak and an eye, and finish our rough sketch, adding legs. As I go, I always check the shapes I already drew. In this case, it seemed that the head looked a little big, so I adjusted it. Before I move to the next step, I make sure to check my shapes. I check the distance between the wing and the body. I check the size of my head compared to the body of the bird. Check the shapes of the tail and the wing. And if everything looks right, I can move to our next step. Let's lightly erase our sketch, making sure we can still see it, but it's not as prominent and now we can draw the bird properly. It is always better to start from the top and move our way down. Now we can focus more on the details and all the curves. If your initial sketch was correct and all shapes were drawn properly, you will end up with the drawing of a bird that looks very nice and balanced. Look carefully at your reference photo and make sure to include all the curves of bird's body so your bird doesn't look stiff. Our third step would be to highlight our lines with a softer pencil as well as add some details. Any pencil between 2B and 6B would work well. This is the easiest way to draw animals realistically. You start from proportions and simple shapes, making sure you get all the measurements right. And only then, you move to details, shading, and coloring. Clean up your drawing with the eraser and you will end up with a drawing of a bird looking like this. Now let's move on to the drawing of a dolphin. Let's break down the body of a dolphin into simple lines and shapes. The guideline will be a curve like this. Then we can see that the distance between the back to the guideline and the belly to the guideline is the same. Sketch where the back and the belly would be. These lines follow the direction of the curve. The fin and the nose look like triangles. And the head looks like an oval. The back fin and the tail look like triangles as well. Let's try drawing the dolphin with pencil on a new sheet of paper. 
start with the curve, and that's an important step. If your curve is too flat, you'll end up with a dolphin that looks more like a shark. Then we'll measure same distance from our curve to where the back and the belly would be and sketch those parts as well. Find the spot where your head would be and sketch it as an oval. Then you add a nose, eye and fins, always double checking your measurements, proportions and shapes that you already drew. Finish this rough sketch drawing a tail, double check your shapes and then we can move to our next step. Erase slightly our sketch and let's draw our dolphin properly. As we did with drawing the bird, start from the top and move your way down. Look closely at your photo. Pay attention to all curves, details and small bumps. By adding them, you'll make your drawing look more organic and realistic. Also, don't follow your initial sketch blindly. Keep checking the measurements and if something looks off, correct as you go. The point where the back fin starts you can pinpoint by looking at another fin. It's above the belly fin, but slightly on the left. I look at the reference photo frequently and check my measurements and the lines I already drew. If something doesn't look right, erase and draw it again. And it's impossible to get it right from first try. Practice a lot and then you'll be able to draw any animal easily. At the end, clean up your drawing using eraser and your final drawing of a dolphin would look something like this. Now let's try drawing a horse together. This is definitely the hardest animal we're drawing today. Our guidelines are simple lines that identify where the neck, the body and legs would be. They also help with composition. Once you place them on your paper, you know for sure that your horse drawing will be in the center of your paper. Then we move to simple shapes. The head of a horse will look like a circle. The neck looks like a triangle. The body can be broken down into two circles connected with two lines. These two lines is where the belly and the back of the horse would be. Finish drawing your horse by adding simple geometric shapes to identify where the head, the legs and the tail would be. That's how your rough drawing should look like. Let's try doing that on the paper using a pencil. As we did earlier in our other animal drawings, erase your sketch lightly, making sure you can still see the shapes you drew, as they will help you draw the body proportionally. Now draw your horse, adding some details.
clean up your drawing using eraser and add some details. And you will have a drawing of a horse looking like this. Here are our final drawings of a bird, a dolphin, and a horse. Let me know which animal you liked drawing the most.